Next is from Hank Beanie, and the subject is AEW and Andrade. Hey, guys. In a recent video, Jim Cornette criticized a Andrade's promos on AEW. Cornette said when Andrade speaks, he makes the elephant man sound like James Earl Jones. <laughs> Andrade is a good wrestler. It looks like a million bucks. Conan, you work with the Andrade and have criticized AEW's book of him in the past. How would you book him with an American audience? Thank you, and that's from Hank. I don't know. I'd have to sit down and do it. It wouldn't be hard. The guy looks like a million bucks. You know, I definitely wouldn't be putting him out there doing promos in English without a safety net. He needs a manager to talk for him. You know, they got rid of Chavo. They got rid of Vicky. I mean, put somebody else there to talk for him. He's not a good talker. And so, um, and it makes him look weak when he said, well, then he's not a good, or he's not a good, he's not a good talker in English. Right. Okay. Right. Exactly. Well, why would I yeah. say Spanish? So not for, you know, but, um, uh, and you know, this would think what, if you disagree, please let me know, D.I., but I think we've seen that what they've done with him up to now has been mega whack. This Hardy compound is whack. The Jose, the assistant thing was whack. Everything he's done. I, the only thing I kind of liked was the Cody Rhodes thing, but that was yeah. very short-lived. Yeah. You know, well, he, can, he can go. He's young. He looks good. He dresses like a star. Bro, he's, a, he's already done half the work for you. He's done 75% of the work himself. And you can't fill in the rest of it. That's on creative, dude. That's not on Andrade. Bro, what happened with... That's what what I feel. What happened with... uh, (laughs) It's a perfect example. Like, when he came in... You know what? This is how they think. I'd probably say something like, bro, imagine if he walked in like a Sicario, like, you know, modern-day Sicario, because they don't... They... With the slick back hair, you know, Gucci suit, looking sweet. You know, he's got that gun on his side and he walks in with a whole bunch of and he says, we're taking over. And they're like, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. And then when they finally actually tape it, it's like Jimmy Utah, you know, you know. Wheeler, Wheeler, Utah. Marco Stunt, yeah, Wheeler, Utah, you know, Marco Here, Stunt, Peter here's Avalon. Easy, yeah. Here's the easiest way you should you should you could have booked this guy, right? Is that everybody, their mother, when he came in, Okay, was the whole thing was, I was oh well, look at all the dream matches because he's a good worker, bro. You haven't had one of the dream matches yet, or even booked like what's so it's, it's like nothing. Right. They haven't, they, he's had like four four wrestling matches right. since he's been there, or four or five. Well, what you what should it have? The guy can't speak English, and you just want to like if you th- you know, if your thing's all about wins, you know, I would have just booked this guy like right off the bat, give him a couple good opponents that there's a 50 50 you know thing, and bro, just have him beat the guys. Come in after the match, just like they do the the boxing with the Mexican, you know, with, with the with the uh, the what do what do you call the guy, the interpreter there, and just have him cut like a 30, 45 second promo after his matches with the interpreter, like to to, to try and get him over. Right, would have been as simplistic. But believe it or not, mind. even though the interpreter adds absolutely nothing to this thing, just like most of the valets in that company, which seems everybody has one, mm-hmm. he speaks good English, right. Why isn't he talking? Why do you have him there with a clipboard making the other guy struggle? <laughs> right. yeah. He's the interpreter right. character. He doesn't do the right. interpretation. You right. know, and, Jose, and the speak. I'll give you an example. We did an angle this week, okay, because it was supposed to be FTR mm-hmm. versus the Lucha Brothers, right? Mm-hmm. What well, Phoenix is still hurt. So we did an angle out of nowhere. Cold angle was basically they go up into the ring and they're like, the Lucha Brothers. You don't want to wrestle us, better for us. We're taking the next trip home and getting out of this, right? You know, mm-hmm. Vicky Guerrero's out there dressed up looking like, what was that, that movie, Bad Boys, uh, 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 Joe, that you said that Cody had taken his, his idea from oh, the heel. Oh, the, 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 boys. The, the Amazon. The boys. The boys. The yeah. boys. Okay. Yeah. She's wearing a suit that this guy would be proud of, like this American with the American flag and this throat sewn into the skirt and looks like Wonder Woman meets Captain America, like all American, right? Mm-hmm. So they go out there, they get their heat. They're saying, you know, we're, 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 um, we're leaving, we're leaving this. <laughs> these two <laughs> don't want to wrestle us. Then Dragon Lee, who's Rush's brother, who's actually an incredible wrestler. And his brother, or at least he was very good wrestler. They go up there and they challenge him. And they're like, yeah, we didn't sign. We didn't, we didn't uh we didn't sign the wrestle YouTube bums, so we're out of here. 
during this whole time, we didn't make Vicky struggle on the microphone, even though she can speak Spanish. We had Hugo Savinovich go into the ring with them and explain everything that Dax Hackward had to say, you know what I'm saying? So that people could understand it. And that's the same thing with Jose. Jose should be there interpreting everything, you know, because the right. promo wouldn't have been the same if I would have had Dax trying to, you, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, exactly. Yeah. yeah.